Good evening. Welcome. You know what I always say I, at the beginning of the class, two minutes before the two minutes before 8 p.m. and a good cup of coffee. No, just kidding. It's two minutes before 8 p.m. and we are going to start soon. I'm just waiting for participants to join as always. And I hope they are going to be here quick. All right, let's wait for them. I have all my documents ready to open and well, they are already open and we are going to start soon. And I don't want to spill my coffee. Drink it. As you can see, I'm having a bad hair day. I'm sorry. It's that time of the day, of the week, sorry. Okay, right now it's 8 p.m. Let's hope a students join, join right now. I'm going to send them a WhatsApp. To tell them that I am already here waiting for them. Right, I think I have the first student. Good evening, Miss Varela. I can hear you. Your mic. Hello, Mr. Ayala. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm great, Mr. Thank you for asking. What about you? Yeah, excellent day. It's been an excellent day. Yes, more productive. Ah, okay. Hello, Maria. Can you hear me? Yes. Ah, okay. Yes, teacher. We couldn't hear you. Ay, sí, sí, no, que no la podíamos escuchar, le digo. Y, y, sí, y se estaba yendo su voz también, pero creo que ya, ya es reguló. Es mi micrófono, creo. Mi ah. audífono. Ok, try. If you want, you can use your... Your... The, the computer's mic, right? Your computer has a, a, a microphone. Are you using a computer or a cell phone? Uh, now a computer, but I, I have a problem with the mic. If you have a problem with your microphone, you can use your computer. The, compu the mics, the mic from your computer, right? We are going to wait for the rest of your class, please. And we are going to take this first attendance. And this is, remember that this is almost the last day. Tomorrow we are going to be finished with this module. So if you have any question or something, remember that you can ask me. Okay. Ok, alguien más se unió, pero tengo un problema que las personas que no tienen la cámara conectada no las O sea, no aparece en la caja. Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. Eh... Mayra. Ah, ok, Mayra, thank you for being here. 
What happened to your to your camera? Ah, es que voy saliendo del trabajo. Me voy um, a ir para mi casa y al llegar allá me conecto en la computadora. Okay, Mayra, don't worry. Just take care, okay? Gracias. Hello, Carla. Welcome. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Hi. Good luck, Carla. Oh, yes. <laughs> Good my hair. Good. Uh -huh. uh, hello, Mr. Sanchez. Hello, teacher. How are you, Mr. Sanchez? Good. Good. I really like coffee. Just uh -huh. my, I, my mug. <laughs> okay, that's a bad. Mug. Look at my mug is really big. Okay, good. Ah, you also have one, Mr. Ayala. <laughs> okay, so you like coffee a lot, right? Very nice. Okay. okay uh, Teacher. Uh, yes. Eh, eh, yo tengo un poco así de duda con el con los ver, con el good y con el eh, eh, can. Con el good y el can. Yes, uh -huh. ah, baja, eh, no se preocupe. Si gusta, en lo, que, en lo que entran algunos de sus compañeros, le puedo explicar medio, medio ahí. Ok. Permítame un segundo. Vale. La cosa, veas que Ken, ok, eh, la palabra Ken, ¿verdad? Eh, es un verbo, también es un verbo modal, por si no lo sabía. Sí. Es un modal, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. But this one is for expressing ability, okay? We use this modal verb to express ability. For example, what abilities do you have, Miss? Think about one ability that you have. <laughs> I, I have... Uh, yes? <laughs> for example, can you swim? Yes. Okay, so, María Estela. Sorry. María Estela can swim. You see? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That is an ability, okay? Swimming. Swimming. Swim. For example, I speak. ¿Alguien tiene el micrófono ahí, por favor? Eh... ¿Va a caer? ¿Va a caer? ¿Qué? ¿Va a correr? 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 ¿Va a Okay, yes, we move on. But okay, now you see, this is another ability. This is one of my abilities. I can speak English, okay? Yeah. But yeah. I can speak French, right? Yeah. Ahora bien, let's say that when I was little. Va a comer rico el niño. Ok. When I was little, mire, por ejemplo, eh, bah, digamos que yo también puedo nadar, ok. Pero yo nadaba muy bien cuando era niño, ok. When I was little, I could. Swim, swim really good. Okay, but lo que pasa es que could, ¿verdad? Es como también para expresar habilidad, pero una habilidad pasada, ¿verdad? Algo que usted ya no, ya no puede hacer ahora. O sea, el, el could se podría decir, ¿verdad? Eh, que es como el pasado de Ken, ¿ok? Pero el could también se utiliza para otras cosas, no solo para hablar de habilidades pasadas. También, mire, se utiliza para hacer preguntas eh, 
formales, vea, o, ¿cómo se dice? ¿Cómo le digo? Como polite questions, ¿ok? O sea, preguntas educadas, no sé, algo así, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, mire, le digo yo, vea. Could you help me? Bien. Para preguntas formales, ¿verdad? O sea, porque si ya yo digo, can you help me? No es igual. Can you help me es, vea, si posees la habilidad de, habil de ayudarme y si quieres ayudarme también, ¿verdad? Pero ya el could you help me es como asking for a favor, ¿ok? ¿Sí? ¿Verdad? No sé si notan la diferencia entre estos dos. Bueno, para los que acaban de entrar, ¿verdad? Eh, era una pregunta de una, de una participante, la que estoy resolviendo ahorita. Ok, no es esto la clase. Bueno, ok, no sé si le quedó claro, Miss. Yes, teacher. Bueno, Thank hay you. otros usos de Q también, ¿verdad? Pero no puedo entrar mucho en detalle porque ya vamos a comenzar. Ok, ok. Ok. Gracias. You're welcome. All right. Ok, welcome everyone. Uh, I am about to take the first attendance, so please let, pay attention when I call for your names. Uh, Darwin? Present. Tell me. Doing. Fátima. Rosario. Uh, Fidel. Flor. Irving Jose. Josué Adán. Present. Okay, welcome, Mr. Eh, Thank you. Juan Ernesto Escobar. Karina Beatriz. Carla Verónica. Present. María Estela. Present. María Vanessa Segura. Present. Un segundo. Ah, miren, este, fíjense que quiero de, decirles, ¿verdad? Que por favor, cuando entren en Zoom, por favor, háganlo con, con el correo que han, están inscritos, ¿verdad? Porque ahorita estoy viendo la asistencia y veo que a alguien no le, no le colocaron, ¿verdad? Este, el porcentaje merecido, ahí estuvo en toda la conferencia de ayer. Y seguro fue porque no, no como se llama, ¿cómo se dice? No entró con el correo que debe entrar, ¿ok? Así que ojo ahí. Mayra. Present. Eh, Nelson Alfredo. Nelson Edgardo. Present. Eh, María Vanessa. Present. Ophelia. María Vanessa está ahí. Yes, teacher, I'm here. Okay. Ofelia. Sí, teacher, aquí estoy. Raquel. Lo malo es que cuando estoy pasando asistencia se dan cuenta de la miopía que tengo, ¿verdad? por la cara que hago. <ríe> Tratando de leer sus nombres. Vale que no son nombres enredados. Va, ok. That's it. Thank you for paying attention. Now, let's go with today's topic. Right. Can you see my screen? Yes. Or no? Yes. All right. Yes. Welcome to another session. Well, this is session number 19, okay? We are, we only have one more session. So please pay attention and remember Try to be here the whole session, ¿ok? Don't leave early. No se vayan antes de la sesión porque eso les descuenta minutos, ¿ok? So, as you can see, today's topic is I would like to file a complaint about, ¿ok? That's the topic for today. Today we are going to be complaining about everything and everyone. No, just, just everything, ¿ok? Now, Let's start with that vocabulary for today, all right? Now, as you can see, we have here some words, okay, that we are going to use today. And it is important for you to know what 
these words mean? What is the meaning or the definition of these words? For example, do you know what is file? <coughs> Expediente. Okay, but today we are going to use file as in file a complaint, okay? So in that case, file wouldn't be uh, expedient, right? File es como, como, como hacer, ¿verdad? En este caso, hacer una, una queja, ¿verdad? O, o, o quejarse, file a complaint, okay? También se puede decir file a document, okay? Que ya sería como archivar un documento, ¿verdad? Y así. O sea, como verbo, pues, lo vamos a utilizar file, ¿verdad? No lo vamos a utilizar como nombre. Vale, ahora bien, what about complaint? Do you know what is a complaint? Yes or no? Yes. Queja. Good. Queja. And what about complaint? Complaint. What's the difference? Que no tiene T el otro. Ajá, muy bien. Yeah. No, no es eso. Okay. Quejarse. Quejarse, vea, es el verbo. Okay. Complaint is the noun. That's the, the noun, right? And complain without the T, all right, is the verb. Like, I complain about everything, right? And I want to complain about uh, everything, right? Okay, now we have another one. This one is a phrasal verb. All right, is sore out, sore out, okay, or sore out. Sore out means, right, uh, to solve, okay. En este caso, en el contexto que lo vamos a utilizar hoy, ¿verdad? lo vamos a utilizar para solve a problem, okay. No puede compartir. No, 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 Yes. No se escuchó nada, teacher. Ajá. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? No se escuchó su explicación. ¿Cuál? The sort out, sort out. Ah, ok. Vale. Le voy a pedir, por favor, que desactiven los micrófonos si no, si no van a hablar, porque hay algunos que se les escucha ahí un ruido de fondo, por favor. Va, ok. Ok, sort out, ok. That is the pronunciation. And sort out is similar to solve, okay? Like in solve a problem. In this case, we are going to use sort out for solving or for solving complaints, okay? Sort out, resolver, verdad? O arreglar, in este caso, una, a complaint, okay? Now we have a refund. Do you know what is a refund? A refund is when you want your money back, right? For example, let's say that I bought this cell phone. It cost me, let's say, $100, but the cell phone doesn't work, okay? So I go to the store and I say, okay, I don't want this cell phone. I want my bond, my money. I want my money back, okay? Give me... Reembolso. Yes, that is a refund, okay? Now, book. Do you know what is book? Pero aquí no como sustantivo. Reserva. <laughs> Reserva. Reservar. In this case, mm -hmm. we're going to use it for a flight, right? A flight. Mm -hmm. Okay? Como en un avión, ¿verdad? For example, book a flight. Eso sería como reservar un vuelo. ¿Verdad? Or book a hotel. También, ¿verdad? Reservar un hotel también. ¿Se puede para hoteles? Thank you very much, Miss Vázquez. Flustered. Flustered. Flustered is when you are like worried or confused about some. Okay. Es como frustrado, estresado, ¿verdad? Agobiado, ¿verdad? O sea, en este caso, en el contexto, lo van a ver en, un, en una conversation that you are going to see, but this is a video. Okay? Now, we have hang out. Hang up, sorry. Hang up. For example, let's say that I am 
I am having a, a conversation with my girlfriend by phone. Ok, estoy explicando las palabras, así que les voy a pedir que vean mi cámara, ¿verdad? Porque estoy haciendo ciertas mímicas y explicaciones para que se les haga fácil a ustedes entender los verbos, porque así lo asocian con la mímica, ¿verdad? No lo asocian con su equivalente en español. Y así se, se van quitando, ¿verdad? Ese, eso de ir traduciendo en sus cabezas y hablar inglés, ¿verdad? sino que cuando quieran decir la palabra en app, no van a pensar en su significado en español, van a pensar en la mímica que estoy haciendo en el gesto y se les va a hacer más fácil, ¿ok? Más rápido, ¿verdad? No van a tener que traducir, no sé si me explico. But, ok, hang up. Ok, hang up is a verb, but in this case I am talking with my girlfriend by phone, ¿ok? And we start fighting, ¿ok? And suddenly she hung up, ¿ok? Hang up on me and I am Hello, are you there? Please. Colgar. Yes, that is hang up, right? Now, a squeeze. Well, I don't have anything to squeeze here, but a squeeze is like, for example, you have an orange, an orange, and you want juice, and you start doing. Exprimir. Yes, or you have a lemon, and you want to make lemonade. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? Okay, that is a squeeze. Afford, in this case, es como... Bueno, no sé cómo explicarlo, la verdad, pero afford es como, como, por ejemplo, we can afford that. Es como no, no tenemos la, no podemos darnos el lujo, ¿verdad?, de hacer eso o no tenemos la disponibilidad de hacer eso. O sea, es un verbo un poquito... No puede poder pagar. Uh -huh. Algo así, pero no solo se refiere a dinero. también A se dinero. A... Por ejemplo, uh -huh. mire, digamos... En el contexto que lo vamos a ver hoy es como we can afford to lose that job opportunity, right? Por ejemplo, no podemos darnos vea, el lujo de perder esa oportunidad de empleo o algo así, ¿verdad? Okay, afford. Upset is like angry or mad, right? That is easy. And disappointed, do you know what is disappointed? No. Disagree. No. Decepcionado. Decepcionado. ¿verdad? Decepcionado. Okay. Um, okay. These are the words. Now we, I am going to check for pronunciation. All right. Uh, Maria Estela, please pronounce the first three words. Five. Mm -hmm. Complain. Mm -hmm. Complain. Good. Shout out. No, no, only that three first. Thank you. Okay. Now Vasquez. Carla Vázquez, please, the other three. Sort out, mm -hmm. reform, and book. Thank you. Now, Mr. Ayala, these three. Yes. Um, Hello, this one. A squeeze, right? A squeeze. Thank you. Mr. Sanchez, the last three. What wow, teacher? Sure. Shut up. No. Oh. Well, uh, yeah. for? Uh -huh. Upset, disappointed. Disappointed, right? Esto aquí al final, vea, se oye como se ve. Disappointed, okay? Okay, perfect. Do you have any question before we continue? No? Okay, good. Now, let's discuss these questions, okay? Let's discuss the following questions. Number one, do you ever complain about the broken items at your workplace? Probablemente no, porque van a decir que ustedes lo rompieron, ¿verdad? Esperan que alguien más lo haga. No, no. Okay. Do you ever complain about the broken items at your workplace, Miss? Miss, 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 let's see. Lopez. Miss Lopez, are you there? Yes, but I don't understand the meaning. Okay, que si se que acerca del equipo dañado en su trabajo. Let's mm. mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Everything works very good. <laughs> But let's say that there is a problem with something. Would you would you complain about it? 
I don't do it because I am the in charge of call to the <laughs> the people to fix it. Ah, okay. So you want to... <laughs> <laughs> but I try to do the faster I can. Okay, thank you very much, Miss Lopez. What about you, Fidel Coreas? Do you ever complain about the broken items at your workplace? Hello, Mr. Coreas. Fidel, no le escucho. Hi. Hello. Hello. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, Mr. Can you answer my question, please? No comprendo. Complain, what is? Complain es quejarse, vea. Okay. Do you ever complain about the break? Que si tengo una queja. No, que si se queja. Que si se queja sobre los, los, el equipo roto, ¿verdad? O el equipo dañado en su lugar de trabajo. I I not ever complain. Why not, Mister? Not not complete in my workplace. Uh, no not broken. Items. Items. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, let's see, Vanessa. Do you ever complain about the broken items in your at your workplace? Um yes, I do. Um sometimes I report mm -hmm. uh, the issues to maintenance. Uh, because uh, I have uh, issues in the production lines. Okay, thank you very much, Miss Miss Segura. Very okay. good. Uh, uh, okay, let me ask you another question, Miss Segura, because you said that you do that that you do complain about some things. Do you feel complaint forms? Uh, yes, I do, and um, I write some in some papers the the issues and put in a box and then they solvent it okay very nice thank you very much okay does anybody here uh, do you ever feel complaint forms these are like papers right this is like a more formal complaint for example if you say uh, hello uh, mr rodriguez I have a problem with my air conditioner. It's not working, okay? And that's the complaint, but then you can make a paper, right? Okay, there is a, a, a complaint, right, form, and you type it up, okay, problems with the air conditioner. La fecha, ve, y todas esas cuestiones, okay? But does anybody here do that? Flor, for example, do you feel uh, do you ever feel complaint forms? No, I don't. You don't? <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next slide, all right? Okay, now we're going to practice this pronunciation. Lo vamos a hacer con los números que no nada. Okay, Flor Maria and, 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 and who was the other one? What is the other student who said that you don't complain? Ah, Mr. Coreas. Okay. Uh, Miss, Miss Carvalho and Mr. Coreas. Mike and Maria. Please. I'm Mike. Good. 
Thank you for calling the IT depart department. Ah, very nice. <laughs> Mister, your microphone is off. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to fill a complaint about my work terminal computer. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't tour off today, on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, let's go now with Fatima. Fatima and Mr. Sanchez. Fatima, you are Mike, okay? And Mr. Sanchez, you are Maria. Fatima, are you there? Thank, thank you for calling the, the in the department. Mm -hmm. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa. And I need to file the complaint about the my work terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear uh, that. Please, that please describe the problem. It describe was very problem. slow yesterday. Yesterday, and, and I didn't turn on today. Let me say. Someone, someone with a complaint form, we can set a new compu computer in new, in, in new time. Thank you. In new okay. You are, you are, I'm huh? Mario. Yeah. You are welcome. <laughs> Ok, la verdad es que siempre todos dicen Mario, ¿eh? esto solo lo tomo del, del manual. No sé por qué, tal vez se le fue ahí, ¿verdad? A la... Ok, bueno, doesn't matter. Ok, Mr. Amaya, welcome. Good evening, thank you, teacher. Mr. Amaya, ok, Mr. Amaya, you are going to be Mike and Miss, Miss López, you are going to be María. Ok. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, excellent. All right, people, now let me explain what you are about to do, okay? Es una, es una, van a ser bastantes cosas, pero la van a hacer solitos, okay? Yo únicamente voy a estar ahí, vea, de observador. Okay, solo permítanme un segundo. Quiero salirme de la presentación, pero no me dejan. Ok, permítanme un segundito. Bye. Ok. Here it is. Ok. First thing that you are going to do in the breakout rooms is that you are going to practice this conversation with a partner. Then you are going to switch roles, okay? That is the first thing. Second thing that you are going to do, what expression does Mike use to go, okay, you are going to answer these questions, okay? Así que se las preguntan, ¿verdad? Entre ustedes. Next, after this, you are going to watch this video, okay? You are going to watch a video, le voy a mandar el link al WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Y lo van a ver en parejas, 
¿ok? O sea, van a verlo los dos. Así que si alguno de ustedes puede proyectar el video, ¿verdad? No hay problema porque los breakout rooms no se ven en la videoconferencia, ¿verdad? Para que lo vean ambos al mismo tiempo. Si lo pueden hacer, ¿verdad? Bueno, eso sí. Yo, ¿verdad? Si voy a entrar a su grupo, quiero que estén pendientes del chat de aquí, de, de Zoom, y que también estén pendientes del chat de, de WhatsApp. Porque si les digo, ¿verdad? Ok, voy a entrar a, al grupo de, por ejemplo, María Estela está con Fátima. ¿verdad? Voy a entrar al grupo de María Estela y Fátima. Les voy a pedir, por favor, que no tengan ese video reproduciéndose, porque va, va a ser un gran problema. Y si no, pues cuando terminen de, de ver el video, les voy a pedir, por favor, que me manden un mensaje a WhatsApp. Porque si no, lo mejor que puedo hacer, mejor, ¿verdad? Es no entrar a ningún breakup, porque vaya a ser que pase algo de esta situación. Así que, si no, ¿verdad? Recuerden, ¿verdad? Que me pueden mandar un mensaje al WhatsApp pidiéndome, a teacher, please, can you enter or, or room, ¿ok? Así que creo que mejor hagamos eso. Me dicen, vea, teacher, por favor, entre a nuestro, a nuestro room para que yo pueda colaborarles ahí ¿verdad? con lo que sea que tengan dudas. Vale. Ahora bien, van a responder para estas cuatro questions about the video. Ok. El video es un poquito... Eh, tiene mucho, mucho, mucho vocabulario, la verdad. Así que les voy a pedir que aparte de responder estas preguntas, ¿verdad? vayan tomando notas de las palabritas que ustedes desconocen, ¿verdad? Pueden hacerlo en your notebook, or in your computer, in a Word document, right, or something. Y después les voy a dar la oportunidad de que puedan preguntar, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, lo que significa algo, ¿verdad? O tal vez entre ustedes mismos, ¿verdad? Por eso es que quiero que lo vean juntos, porque así se apoyan, ¿verdad? Si un estudiante... ¿Sabe qué significa esa palabra? Él le puede ayudar a otro. Y si ese sabe qué significa eso, ese le puede ayudar al otro. ¿Ok? Ese es el objetivo. Vale. No sé si tienen alguna pregunta o se entendió la actividad. Recuerden que van a hacer tres cosas. First, practice the conversation. Second, you are going to answer the questions about the presentation. And third, number three, you are going to watch a video and answer some questions. ¿Ok? Yes. Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, alguien no ha entendido, no tenga miedo en preguntar. Ok. Va, ok. If there are no questions, eh, el link ya se lo voy a mandar, pero eh, primero realicen lo anterior que acabo de mencionar. Ok. Let me get you to the break rooms. Ok. Va a haber un grupo de tres. Ok. Mayra, welcome. I'm glad that you are home. Yes. Okay. There you go. Remember to practice, okay? Practice, practice, practice. Speak a lot of Okay, right now students are in the breakout rooms. They are doing three activities. 
All right, the first one is practice a conversation that I already showed in a, in a, in a slide. All right, this, this conversation is also in the manual, in the student manual. Now, the second activity that they are going to do is that they are going to discuss two questions about the conversation. Activity number three, I think is the one that is going to take them some time to do it because it, it is a video and they have to do, do to, to do, sorry, to do, to, to do two things. Okay, I have actually, that sounds like a tongue twister. They need to do two things. They need to do two things with the video. Okay, the first one is uh, answer some questions. There are many questions about the video. And the other one is that they have to identify vocabulary, okay? Vocabulary that they don't, don't know. They are going to take notes or they are going to type it in their computers or they can, uh, um, they can type it in their in their their cell phones, right? But however they they want what fits them best. I'm going to give them some time. In the meantime, I'm going to explain other things, always related with the topic, right? But this was part of the... Okay, I don't know if you can see my screen, I hope so. Okay, here we are. Okay, while the students are in the break rooms, let's practice this conversation, okay? Just give me one second. All right, let's start me. Uh, well, I am going to be Mike, all right? Thank you for calling IT department. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. Hi, this is you, sorry. You are welcome. We are here to serve you, okay? Always happy to help, right? Or you can say some things like that, right? All right. Now you are going to be Mike and I'm Maria. Can you start, please? Hello, my name is Moises Ramirez and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal. I really need to do some important uh, tasks in my computer, but right now I, I don't have, I, I can do it. I don't know what's happening with this computer. It's been like this for two days now. Uh, well, let me break it down for you. Yesterday, it was very slow. It did, and now, it won't turn, turn on. I don't know what's wrong with this machine. 
Maybe it's because he's pretty old. He's like a dinosaur. Oh, thank you very much. I would really appreciate that you help me with this. As I told you before, I have many things to do in my computer. My computer is, is something really important for me. It's like a key, a key equipment for my, for my job. Without my computer, I can do many things. Okay, very good. That's nice. Okay, students are sending some messages to the WhatsApp. They are talking about the questions from the previous slide because they don't have them. That's good. Okay, but now they have them. Also, I am sending, well, the link, they already have the link in the WhatsApp group. I hope that they watch this video after they finish with the two other activities. As you know, practice the conversation, they have to switch and they have to do it, do it all over again. And after that, they are going to answer and discuss some questions about, of course, the conversation. Okay, sorry, I, wa I was trying something with my mic. Okay. Now let's talk about the two questions that the students are going to answer. Right now, they won't see the answers, okay? Because I am going to, uh, to answer the, the questions for myself. I am going to discuss these questions with you and with myself. For example, what about the first one? What expression does Mike use to show a solution in progress. What are some of the expressions that he uses? You can go back to the previous slide. Let me help you. As you can see, expressions that he used. Could be in no time, right? I'm sorry to hear that, it would be another one. Right? Those two expressions were the ones that he uses to provide a solution for the problem. Uh, now let's talk about the second question. What seems to be the problem with a computer? Okay, Did, do you remember? Can you recall the problem? Don't go back to the, to the video, okay? Just try to remember what was the problem with his computer. Uh, sorry, with, with Maria's computer. I'm waiting. Did you already answer? Yes, if your answer was the, that she has problem with his terminal and that her computer was really slow yesterday and today it is it won't turn on your answer is incorrect ah just kidding is correct very nice 
Okay, for obvious reason, I I can show the video because it is on YouTube and I'm not allowed to show any kind of can any type of video coming from this platform because the video is going to be uploaded to YouTube and that would be you know copyrights. Sorry, but as you can see, you can watch the video if you want, okay? If you want me, no, I won't share the, the link with you, but the link it is, maybe I will put it in the chat, okay? I think you can see the chat from here. Just let me get the, the link. Okay, I send it to the to the chat and you can watch it if you want. Now, let's see some of the questions that are about the video. And discuss the following question, right? What's the complaint about? Okay, that is the first question. The second question was the complaint sorted out. Mention, mention some expressions. Oops, there's a take there. Some expressions used for complaining. What were some expressions used for sorting things out? Okay, those are the questions. There will be a fifth. A fifth uh, a statement that says uh, about the vocabulary, right? That to make a list of vocabulary that, that new of new vocabulary in this case, but they uh, still don't have. It. Okay, I told them to do that when they were in um, see, when they were here in the main session. I'm going to ask if they finish, okay? Because I need to know how much time they are going to take. I'm going to ask if they need help so I can join the, the, the rooms, but they are not watching the video because that would be really, really bad. Okay, I am saying in the WhatsApp group, in the WhatsApp group, hello, need help? Let me know when you're done. Okay, let's hope that they answer me in a moment. Let's hope that they answer me in the moment. All right. 
No me enseñes yet. Okay, after this, we are going to be back in the main session. We are going to discuss some of the questions here for the class. I am going to ask randomly, all right? And also, we are going to do an exercise that is in the manual. All right, it is in the manual. Let me, let me see. It is on page 40. Five, I think. Am I right? No, it's not page 46, maybe. Okay, I have to the manual. I can see the manual. Manual, please. Yes, page 40, 45. Yes, page 45. I was, I was in this day. <clears throat> Sorry. Sometimes when I speak much, my throat really, really bothers me. Oh, actually, I have to do one more activity. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, I don't know what happened to my mic right now. Maybe it died, but it was my computer's mic. I, I always use this mic. Okay, as I was telling you, there was they were supposed to do another exercise in their breakout rooms, but I forgot to tell them they were going to do it in groups of three. But right now. I think we are going to do it individually. We are going to do it to the whole session, okay? Okay, let me check the WhatsApp. Maybe they are done. I hope so. Okay, students, are you, sorry. Are you done? I'm going to ask finish. Let me check if there are any students who are working alone. No, they are all they all are working together. That's nice. Okay, some more some of them are typing.
After this, let me explain you what they are going to do on the next exercise. Okay, they are going to work on this exercise. Just let me show you. Okay, they are going to write down They are going to they are going to talk about this part. Okay, they are going to write down two more reasons to file a complaint in the diagram. These are the diagrams, these ones that you see here. They are a little weird, but they are they are going to use this. Okay, do the same with another equipment in the second diagram. Okay, for example, in this case, it says printer, right? But we are tired of talking about printers. So we are going to talk about AC, an AC or air conditioner, right? Uh, uh, for example, the first one says it, does, it doesn't turn on. Another one could be, it's not cooling, okay? No hay fría, ¿verdad? And other one could be uh, the remote won't work. The remote, right? The controller that they use to turn on the, the AC, right? That was my AC. <laughs> All right, sure. Okay, and in the other one, in this case, I'm going to show them an example. For example, in my case, I'm going to talk about a camera, okay? I'm going to talk about a, a camera. Oops, what did I do? Sorry, sorry about that. Sorry, sorry. All right. <laughs> I'm going to send them a message here. I'm asking if they finish watching the video because I want to join one session, but I can join if they are watching a video on YouTube because that is forbidden, really forbidden. What's the share? Chat, chat, chat. Okay, I am sending a message for them. Okay, I am asking who's finished watching the video so I can join the room. Okay, so let's hope that one or oh, one pair of students is finished with his video so I can join the room and well check on them how they are doing and maybe if they need help or something like that or maybe to give feedback if there is need to be to give some feedback. Let's see. 
Okay, they, they want to answer. I don't know why. Maybe they are watching it and they are concentrated. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Okay, I'm sending more messages to the to the rooms because I need them to work fast. Okay, because I'm going to end up break up rooms in one minute. Okay, some of them say yes. They are fine. Okay, some of them are, are answering. Okay, I think we are going to call it right now. Okay, they are going to be here in one second. Hello, Fatima, welcome. Okay, students will be here in a second. They are rejoining. Carla with her new haircut. <laughs> and the others. Yes. <laughs> nice. Okay, very good. Welcome back, people. Welcome back, okay? Remember that you need to have your cameras on, okay? Y ahí para los que la tienen apagada, por favor, actívenlas. Este, permítanme, dejen enviarle un mensaje a, a, a Delmis que no tiene activado el micrófono. Ah, no, ya lo activo. Ya lo activé. Ah, sí, es que en realidad no me podía escuchar ni a los demás. Ok, very good people. I hope that you finish watching the video. Did you, find, did you finish watching the whole video? Yes. Yes. All right. Thank you very much. And what about the questions? Did you answer all the questions? Yes. Yes. All right. And what about the vocabulary? Did you gather some new vocabulary? 
Did you gather some new vocabulary? Mm -hmm. Gather. Mm -hmm. Yes. Gather is like collect, okay? Did you collect some new vocabulary? All right, let's see. All right, let's start by answering some of the questions that we were supposed to answer, okay? Let's start with the questions for the conversation. Those were really easy, okay? Esas están en sus manuales, ¿verdad? Page 45. No la voy a proyectar ahorita por motivos de, de ¿cómo se dice? De, 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 de que, o sea, quiero que todos salgan de ahorita en la, en la videoconferencia. Ok, now, the first question, uh, Flor, can you ask that question to someone, please? Pregúntesela a alguien. Uh, what expression does Mike use to uh, snow a solution in progress and Fidel? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. What, what expression does Mike use to snow as a solution in progress? Uh, sorry, Flor, it's show, okay? Not it's show. not. Show, uh -huh. thank you. Uh -huh, Mr. Correas. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh, Mr. Correas. Is the... Uh... Let me song. Let me send song with a complaint, for we can send a new computer it on time. Okay, very good. I am going to ask the same question to other participants because there are more possible answers. All right. What expressions does Mike use to show a solution in progress, Mr. Ayala? Is probability a complete form? All right. Can you ask the same question to someone else, please? Question number two. No, one. One. Yes. Uh, what expression does might use the shop a solution in progress, Mayra? He sent someone with the complaint form. Okay, that is a similar answer from me for, from uh, Mr. Correas and Mr. Ayala. Thank you very much. Mayra, please ask the, the second question to someone else. Okay, Carla. What seems to be the problem with the computer? The problem was that computer, computer was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Okay, very good. Okay, uh, okay. thank you very much. You answered those two questions, <laughs> the two possible answers. Now let's me, let me share the questions from the from the video, okay? Eh, las disculpas del caso, ¿verdad? la verdad se me había olvidado que estas preguntas eh, las redacté yo, así que no, por lo tanto no las iban a ver, pero ahí ve la flor se me adelantó y se las mandó. Así que thank you very much, flor. Okay, now we have some questions about video, okay? So let's discuss these questions. Give me a second. All right. Now, uh, what's the complaint about uh, Miss Lopez? The complaint was about the room that was be was reserved for the bus. Mm -hmm. But so what, what happened with this room? <laughs> he wanted a twin bed. Uh -huh. and, didn't have, and they didn't have a room with that bed. Okay, thank you very much. 
Was the complaint sorted out, mi segura? Was the complaint sorted out? Um, probably um, the hotel day wasn't to resolve. In the video, only listening about uh, the complaint, but not the uh -huh. solution. Okay. Okay, very good. What about the rest? Was the complaint sorted out? La verdad que lo que me gustó de ese listening que tiene, 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 miren, tiene chistes y tiene sarcasmos también. Si no los identificaron, no los culpo, vea, pero, pero es bueno ver a que veamos otras expresiones más comunes, la verdad. Todos los listening son como que la gente siempre está feliz y, y ah, rainbows and butterflies, vea, it's not like that in reality, ok. Now. Eh, ajá, nadie más, nadie más me respondió, por favor. Was the complaint sorted out? Eh, yes, okay. Me. Really, the, Denise got him a new room, but ajá. Denise says that Anna got him a new room. Okay, so. Denise helped to Anna ajá. because Anna. Ana y Ana was called uh, of hotel hotel mm -hmm. for complain about the about the about the reservation or books the the room of Mr. Okay. Socrates. Yes, actually the the complaint was sorted out. Actually, they don't talk like like okay very good or something like that no because the lady in the phone she was like she wasn't like well we don't have the room so what are you going to do about it right but that complaint was sorted out and who did it it was as carla is saying denise did that right okay very good Let's talk about the expressions that they use for complaining, okay? Espero que hayan tomado nota de eso. But, okay, let's see. Mr. Amaya, what expressions do you have for complaining, mister? Mr. your mic. Hello, Mr. Your microphone is off. Sorry. I would like to cancel my reservation and get a full re refund. Mm -hmm. um, I would like this matter resolved as uh, quickly as possible. Only that? Um, yes. Okay, wait there. Wait there, wait there, wait there. Thank the you. Things. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Only two, okay? Let's see. Does anybody have more expressions used for complaining? Uh -huh. I am very disappointed with your service. All right. And the standard of your service is not good enough. Very good, thank you very much. Does anybody have even more expressions used for complaining. The room I book did not meet my expectations. Okay, very good. But esa expresión es muy importante, por favor recuérdenla. ¿Verdad? Porque la se puede entender un poco literal, ¿verdad? Vale, ¿qué, qué, qué, ¿cómo entiende esa, esa frase, Mayra? ¿Le puede describir a sus compañeros, por favor? Eh, es como que si eh, la habitación que reservé no cumplió con mis expectativas. Ajá. ¿Verdad que el meet, verdad, no significa eh, reunión o encontrarse ahí, verdad? Uh -huh. Significa no, no, que... Es, es como... Dijo, hay una ah, para mí es como... No... Ajá, no hay una palabra, pero es como que no cumplió en el, en el, en el significado. No. Ok, muchas gracias, Mayra. 
Okay, very good. Let's talk about the other expressions. What were some expressions used for sorting things out? La primera es la para quejarse. ¿verdad? La segunda es para cómo se llegó a un arreglo. ¿verdad? Okay. Lo que ustedes exigían para llegar a un arreglo. Okay. In this case, eh, you know, they were talking about the hotel room. Uh -huh. Cancel reservation and refund a money. Cancel the reservation and a refund, right? Refund. Okay. Good. Refund. Okay, thank you very much, people. I really like this type of videos because, eh, porque escuchan, vean algo, a alguien más hablar inglés que solo a mí. Ok, obviamente se escuchan entre ustedes, vea, pero este, este, o sea, me refiero a, a como, como les digo, este, algo un poco más, vea, como, o sea, fluido, verdad, auténtico, porque aquí lo que estamos haciendo a veces es, más que todo, vea, respondiendo y preguntando, Vea, no es como muy, como una conversación real, ¿verdad? Por eso es que les digo que me gusta a veces ponerlo a hacer conversaciones improvisadas, porque es un poco más auténtico. Ok, bueno, vamos a hacer este ejercicio. En this one, it is on your manual, ¿ok? As you can see right now, we are on page 45, right? Right at the end of page 45, ¿ok? You are going to write two more reasons to file a complaint in the diagram. These are the diagrams, ¿ok? Son estos diagramas un poco extraños, but we are going to use them, ¿ok? Van a escribirla, por ejemplo, aquí está hablando de printer, pero no, we are not going to use printer, we are tired of talking about printers. Eh, instead, we are going to talk about AC, ¿ok? Or air conditioning, right? Can you see it? Yeah, ¿ok? So you are going to... To, to write down here algunos problemas que pueden pasar con el AC, ¿verdad? Aquí ya tiene uno. It, da, it doesn't turn on. Ese podría ser uno, ¿verdad? Un problema con el AC. ¿Ok? And here you are going to write another one. ¿Ok? Another, another what? Com reason to file a complaint. ¿Ok? Now, here you are going to write another one here. And here you are going to write one more, all right? And on the other diagram that is next to the first one, you are going to choose another item or equipment in your workplace. Le voy a pedir que por favor utilicemos alguno de los que no hemos hablado, ¿verdad? Piensen en algo, ¿verdad? For example, in my case, I choose camera, okay? I choose my webcam, okay? You can use another one, like, for example, your speakers. Nadie ha hablado de sus speakers, ¿verdad? Your computer speakers. Si tienen alguna duda, ¿verdad? De cómo se dice teacher y cómo digo que el aire no, no es la, ¿verdad? Ajá, estoy esperando que alguien me lo pregunte. Bueno. Hola, teacher. Ajá. Teacher. Eh, me sacó este el inter, pero no escuché esta parte de lo que están haciendo ahorita. Ah, ok, con gusto le explico, Mayra, eh, perdón, María Estela. Va, lo que va a hacer, ¿verdad?, es escribir dos razones por las que no funciona, en este caso, el, el aire acondicionado, okay? ¿ok? Aquí tenemos la first one, it doesn't turn on, aquí donde manché de rojito van a escribir otra, y en la parte de abajo también, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? En total okay. van a ser tres razones por las, que, por las que podrían quejarse ustedes del aire acondicionado. Ok. okay. Sí. Y en la otra, ¿verdad? Eligen un, un dispositivo de su preferencia. Yo en mi caso, I chose eh, my webcam. Ok. But you can choose another one. So try to use a different equipment. Ok. Eh, for example, printer no. Don't talk about printers. Ok. Talk about <laughs> something else. Ok. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Bueno, nadie me lo preguntó, pero yo les voy a decir. ¿Cómo, ¿cómo se dice? Ajá, ajá. ¿Cómo se dice? Eh, no está enfriando, no enfría. Ajá, no es la va, no enfría. Se dice así, mire. Eh, the AC is not cooling. ¿Lo puede ver, mister? 
Yes, teacher. Okay, good. The AC is not cooling. Pueden hablar del ventilador, vea. De, Thank you. About the remote, right? The remote, the one that you use to turn on your AC, like it won't work and then you did it. Okay, that was my AC. It's really hot in here. Damn. Colin dijo la última palabra, teacher. ¿Cómo? La, la última expresión que dijo del aire acondicionado es Colin. Cooling. Cooling. ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? Cooling. Ah. ¿No la puede ver ahí? Mm, no, no, no. La Pero, de... O sea, eso es que ¿Sí? no está congelando. No, que no está enfriando. Mister. No está enfriando. Sí, también se puede utilizar cooling para enfriar, ¿verdad? O sea, refiriéndose a a helado eh, eh, para decir este fan does not work is is good yes it's good okay or the fan is not working it's okay as well is correct the air conditioning does not freeze eh, yes pero freeze es como más que cool o sea Freeze, ya estamos hablando de grados bajo cero, ¿verdad? Y, y pues, según me han entendido, no hay ningún aire que enfríe tanto. ¿verdad? Mi aire acondicionado tira pedazos de hielo. <risa> bueno, pero la temperatura no creo que llegue a congelar. O sea, es que freeze, no. ¿verdad? Freeze, literalmente... Mi... Do I condition it? I need con the maintenance. Ah. ah, ok, yes, me tira Algo. agua y hielo. Ok, that would be a problem, Miss, 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 Miss Varela, right? You could yeah. write, for example, my AC is spilling water or ice. Spilling my IC is spilling. Okay. ¿Cómo, cómo se dice rejillas, dicho? Rejillas. Bent. ¿Ah? Bent. Bent. ¿Mm? Como, como esas. Así va, las cositas esas, vents, las que se abren así. ¿no? Sí. Mm, no, es que los aire acondicionados por dentro llevan una rejilla metálica, que es donde se acumula el, el, el hielo y la, se, bueno, se acumula ah. toda la basura. No, en ese caso Ajá. sí se la debo. El filtro. Porque ni siquiera sabía que tenían eso. Ajá, esa, esas son como... Celdas. Cerdas. Cerdas, correcto. Cerdas. Las que dice, la que se abren y se cierran sí. son cerdas. Ajá. No, pero ahí sí, en ese caso, desconozco esa, ese término. Cells. Serían cells. Pues. Cells. cells. Podría ser. Entonces pongamos lo que son filtros, las otras, las que lleva internamente. Ah, filters, ajá. Filters could be filters. filters. My AC is filling ice and water. <laughs> you, should, you should have a checklist. That's yes, I mean. <laughs> Imagine that you have an important document there and it will get wet, right? With the water. Okay, did you finish, people? Raise your hand if you finish, okay? Recuerden que esta actividad está en el libro, ¿verdad? Así que sería lo ideal que lo hicieran en el libro. Okay, please raise your hand if you finish. Okay. If not, well, keep working. Okay, if you have any other question, remember that you can always ask me. Okay, I'm going to take the second attendance. Please pay attention when I call for your names. Darwin? Present. Um, Delmis? Present. Doing Fatima? Present teacher. Fidel Coreas. Flora, Here, teacher. Irving. 
Josué Adán. Present. Present, teacher. Juan Ernesto Escobar. Karina Beatriz. Carla Verónica Vázquez. Present. María Estela Varela. Present. María Vanessa. Present. Mayra. Present. Nelson Alfredo. Present. Nelson Edgardo. Present. Eh, Ofelia. Here, teacher. Raquel. Tatiana en Walter. Ok. Va, eh, una observación. Vea, recuerden, por favor, que siempre que los tire de la lo saque de la, de, la, de la conferencia, traten de unirse lo más rápido posible para que no les quiten mucho, mucho ahí vea el, 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 el tiempo, ok, porque recuerden que el tiempo tienen que you have to meet some, some time, ok that is already established Okay, did you finish, students? Okay, if you already finish, okay, I want you to fill out a complaint form, okay? You are going to fill out the complaint form. This complaint form, okay, it is on page 46, okay? Está en la página 46 de sus manuales. Yes. Can you see it? Can you find it in your manual? Right now, I'm going to see if I can share my, my document so you can see it clearly. Page, I repeat, 46. Okay, after this exercise, okay, quiero que elijan uno de los dos dispositivos que, que eligieron. Okay? For example, if you chose the air conditioner, or if you chose the other device or item in your office, okay? And then you are going to file a complaint. You are going to fill this complaint form. Complaint form. You are going to write down the name of the complaint, okay? You are going to type the date, uh, home phone number, work phone number, fax number, street address, city, email address, complaint information, Describe the nature of the complaint, identify the Esta idea voy a necesitar que me la muestre. Así que si no tienen el manual, traten de, de... ¿Cómo podrían hacer en ese caso? Porque no sé si en un PDF pueden escribir. No. En ese caso, copienlo y péguenlo en, en Word y ahí le escriben encima. ¿Verdad? Do you have any question? Number page? No. 46, mister. 46, yeah. page 46. My word didn't work. <laughs> Sorry, Miss Lopez. I don't have him there. You don't have it in your, your PDF. It's because I have in digital. Ah, you are using yourself. Mm -hmm. um, but I will try to write. All right, please. Please do so because I need some evidence. Uh, mm -hmm. In this case, I will need you to take a picture or a screenshot and you are going to send it to the WhatsApp group. <coughs> El día de mañana es muy importante, ¿verdad? Así que por favor, no vayan a faltar. Recuerden que es... Vaya, eh, recuerden que tienen el examen final, ¿verdad? La tarea final, la sorbi, ¿verdad? Que es un requerimiento que se les pide para aprobar, que esté realizada correctamente y que esté realizada en la fecha establecida, que sería mañana. 
vea la fecha, aún no me la han dicho, la, la, perdón, la hora, así que solo les puedo decir que va a ser de 9 a 10, de 9 a 10 pm, vea, o sea, no nos vamos a tomar toda esa hora, ¿verdad? sino que, yo digo tal vez unos 20 minutos, o sea, nos tardamos, nada más, y qué más, y pues sí, por la asistencia, ¿verdad? siempre recuerden que tienen que entrar, para que no los vayan a penalizar, ¿verdad? Y pues hay cuestiones, vea, burocráticas. Ok, how are you doing with the complaint form? Are you done? Are you done is the same as saying are you finished? Or you finish? Only, only the first part. Sorry? Only the first part. Uh, no, you have to complete. Complete information. Yes, complete information. All describe, the, the, yes. Describe the nature of the complaint. Yes, um. descri describe the nature of the complaint. Uh, identify the equipment. You are going to write the equipment that you are talking about. For example, if okay. it is the air conditioner, We'll talk about the air conditioner. If you want to talk about, for example, your speakers. Uh, yes, I, I speak about the, the fridge. All right. Okay, please, your cameras must be on. So turn on your cameras if you have them. Thank you very much. Teacher, pero en el libro no me deja escribir. ¿Cómo hago en ese caso? Eh, si no lo tiene impreso. Well, um, no, 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 I no. would recommend. Are you using your computer? Yes. Okay, if you are using your computer, you can make a, a screenshot and you can work on PowerPoint. Porque en Word creo que se va a hacer un poquito difícil. O sea, escribir con cuadros de texto encima ¿verdad? de la imagen. No sé si me entiende. O si tiene algún, alguien conoce un método mejor, vea, puede. Pues puede ponerlo. Porque si no le va a tocar reescribirlo todo. Y pues, así como a, a la señorita López. <ríe> Encontré una forma, pero lo hice en mi celular. Ah, ok. Can you share the information with us? No, lo, no sé si solo mi celular tenga. Sí. Pero ahí me decía que podía feel the, the text. Siempre en el, en el PDF que está en, en el pasado. Una muy buena opción, así que qué buena opción es la verdad. Es que a mí solo me permite. Porque agregar nota me dice a mí, pero eso creo que no es igual. No, no. No, agregar firma y no sé qué. No, no me da esa opción a mí. I'm using my computer and it doesn't have that option. But the rest of you, you can check if your cell phone has that option. Y aquí vamos a inventar los nombres. Yeah, it could be your, your own names. Ideally, you should use your own names, your own information, right? Uh, my name. Yes, your name, or si, pues, si, si, no, si no quieren compartir vea, correos o algo así, pues ahí sí vea, podría ser diferente. Vea, pero el nombre de sí sería bueno que fuera el mismo. Vea, por ejemplo, la dirección, pues obviamente inventen una, vea, o den una, una genérica, por ejemplo, colonia las no sé qué o algo así. Right. Home phone number, or phone number, fax number. En serio que se nota que estoy en eso. Ajá. Ok. Yes. 
Okay, uh, who's finished? Anyone? All right, I guess not. The el name of complement com complainant is our name. No, the name of the complainant would be like the like the name. general issue, right? For example, the AC is not cooling, right? Or problems with the AC or something like that. ¿Cómo le pondrían de nombre a su a su queja? Right? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it's going to depend on the problem that you are having. Okay, finish students. Mm -hmm. okay, please try to hurry up. Uh, teacher, the yes. the name could be Fridgy Report. Fridgy. Fridgy Report. Uh, Reporter. Uh -huh. uh, uh, the name mm -hmm. could be Mm -hmm. Frigi report. Frigi, pero, pero ¿qué es Frigi? No le, no le comprendo. Eh, Refrigerate. Ah. Reporte de refrigeradora. Ah. Yes, refrigerator report. O fridge también. Va. También fridge. se puede decir fridge. Fridge, ok, I finish. Ok. Very nice. What about the rest? Mr. Ayala, Fidel, Fatima, Delmis, Mayra, Carla, Maya, Felia, Mr. Sánchez. Finish, teacher. Good. Okay, very good. If you finish, please take a screenshot or take a picture of your of your complaint and send it to the WhatsApp group. 
try to take a good photo, okay? Try to take a good photo. En, por eso la importancia de que usaran su propio nombre, ¿verdad? Para ahí saber quién es el que le envía, porque a veces, ¿verdad? Solo aparecen nuestros números en WhatsApp. No aparece el nombre de la par. Okay, pictures of your work. If you are using your computer to do it or yourself, make a screenshot. Okay, I can't see any documents in the WhatsApp group. Maybe it's because of the internet, but I hope to see some pictures soon. Okay, people, we are going to continue, all right? So I need you to pay close attention to this part because I am going to share some useful vocabulary to the next exercise, okay? So if you haven't finished right now, I need you to pause, okay? Y lo manden así como lo tengan, por favor. Please, please, please. All right, now we are going to see some, wait. Okay, here we are. But okay, right now you know that you have a, a complaint form, right? So right now we are going to okay. Give me one second, please. I need to do something real quick. As you can see, right now I am going to show you some expressions that you can use for complaining. Yeah. Okay, vamos a ver estas expresiones que pueden utilizar para, hacer, para quejarse, ¿verdad? o sea, para no sonar solo como, como que. Yeah. Okay, But en este caso, ¿verdad? Van a utilizar estas, estas expresiones para una pequeña conversación, an improvised conversation that we are going to have, okay? En, estas sí no están en el manual, así que les sugiero que las anoten o les tomen una foto ¿verdad? cuando las termine de poner. Van por efecto, ¿verdad? para no saturarlos tanto con tanto texto de un solo. 
okay? For example, the first expression that we have is, <coughs> I have a complaint to make, okay? Next, sorry to bother you, but, and there goes your complaint, right? Sorry to bother you, okay? It's bother, right? Not, not brother, right? Sorry to bother you, but, Number three, I'm sorry to say this, but the, the soup wasn't good, right? For example, if you are complaining about the soup, right? I'm afraid I got a complaint, a complaint about my room, okay? Next, I'm afraid, I'm afraid there is a slight, okay, a slight problem with my computer when I use Zoom. I have this problem that it will kick me out of the video conference over and over and over again, okay? Next, excuse me, but there is a problem about uh, the new meeting for, for tomorrow. Right, the problem is that is my my brother's wedding. I won't be able to be there, and blah, blah, blah. you know, like that. Okay, uh, I want to complain about uh, the new mm, the new secretary. She's flirting with everyone. <laughs> okay, next. I'm angry about. Ya esta sido un poquito cuando ya pues sí están hasta acá de lo que de lo que de lo que sea. I'm angry about. Es como estoy enojado sobre, ¿verdad? Y lo que está enojado. ¿Ok? ¿Puedo continuar con la siguiente? Yes. Ya lo tienen. Si gustan solo un pequeño una picture o un screenshot y you have. ¿Ok? Okay, I'm going to continue. But, estas son expressions for complaining, okay? But, o sea, va a ser para la persona que se va a quejar, porque la otra persona es obviamente la que va a atender la queja, o va a solventar la queja, ¿verdad? o al menos va a pretender que solventa la queja, in most cases, all right? So, now, let's see some expressions to respond or la, uh, positively to complaints. Okay, esta es la forma correcta de hacer. Después vamos a ver la forma incorrecta de hacer. Okay, now we have the first one. Now, I'm really sorry about that, Mister. We are we are working for you. And I, o sea, esos mensajes para que le se están quejando del internet en la página de Claro y solo les dicen inbox. Ahí esas cuestiones. Okay, eso no es ninguna forma de solventar las cosas. Sorry si alguien trabajó para, para Claro. I do apologize for that, okay? Apologize. Ya voy a explicar, vea, si tienen alguna duda de qué significa algo, no se preocupe. Accept my apologies about that problem that you are having. We are working to solve that as soon as possible, for example. Okay? Don't worry about that. I will call the manager and he will be with you right now. Right? Okay, alguna question por aquí? Apologize. Apologize. Sí. Disculparse. Okay. Significa disculparse. Okay. Va, tal vez se pregunten por qué dice I do apologize, porque, porque hay dos verbos, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Es como para hacer énfasis, ¿verdad? Énfasis de que sí se están disculpando. O sea, es como, sí me disculpo por eso, ¿verdad? Eso significa, sí me disculpo por eso. I do apologize. Vale, pero apologies, miren, apologies ya no es un verbo. Eso son disculpas, ¿verdad? Apologize, okay. disculparse. Apologies, disculpas. O singular, ¿verdad? Apology. ¿Ok? Thank you. You're welcome, mister. Vale. These are... How you are going to do it, okay? Correct. The positively way to do complaints, okay? To respond to complaints in this case. Now, let's see the 
incorrect way to do it. For example, bueno, no sé si ya lo habían notado. Yes, I hope so. Okay, now, expressions to respond, sorry, negatively to complaints. Can you please read number one, Miss Lopez? Sorry, there is nothing we can do about it. Thank you. Fidel, the next one. I am afraid there isn't much we can do about it. Thank you very much. Mr. Amaya. It's not of my business. And Mayra, the last one. I don't care. <laughs> okay, how rude. <laughs> okay, but esto obviamente no lo van a decir nunca, ¿verdad? Porque son, eh, eh, prácticamente están diciendo que no, no, no les importa o no quieren que nada. Bueno, esta expresión de aquí, miren, si sí es muy común, la van a escuchar mucho. ¿verdad? It's none of my business. Okay. My business no necesariamente se refiere a un negocio. Ok. En este caso se refiere ¿verdad? a mis cosas o mis asuntos. ¿verdad? Entonces aquí lo que diría ¿verdad? no es asunto mío. Ok, eso significa, ¿verdad? No es asunto mío. ¿verdad? Y al final, pues no me importa. ¿verdad? Así que eso nunca lo vayan a decir. ¿Okay? I don't care, ¿verdad? Tal vez lo han escuchado en algunas canciones. It's really common. Ok. Eh, ¿Saben qué es I'm afraid? Por cierto. Significa, ¿verdad? Me temo, ¿ok? Me temo que no hay nada que podamos hacer. Mira, eso significa I'm afraid, ¿ok? Me temo o temerse. Ok, very good. Now, let me check the time first. Ok, I think we are going to, we have only five minutes. We are going to do this quick. Les voy a pedir, ¿verdad? De favor que tengan presente, ¿verdad? Uno, la, la complaint que tienen, ¿ok? Así a la mano, para que la puedan ver a la hora de, de realizar la conversación. Next, I need you to have these expressions. Obviamente solo van a tener la, la primera que mostré y la segunda, porque la última obviamente no la van a usar, ¿ok? Este es solo una que no tienen que utilizar, ¿ok? Bueno, ahora bien, obviamente si son la persona que se va a quejar, van a utilizar this one, ¿ok? La que estoy mostrando ahorita en pantalla. If you are going to be the other person, the one who is going to be solving or sorting out the complaint is going to use this one, okay? So, okay, Mayra, you are going to be the one that is going to complain and Carla Vázquez, you are going to be the one who is going to be sorting out the complaint, okay? Are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's go. Okay, I want to complain about my projector. He's been damaged and the problem its presents are. It doesn't recognize the video input. It doesn't reproduce sounds and sometimes it restarts. Hello, Vasquez. Teacher, I don't understand your indication. Ah, es una conversación improvisada, Miss Vasquez. Va a responder a lo que le... Ah, okay, va okay, a okay. Su, su, su queja, ¿ok? Ah, ok, ok. Again, eh, Mayra, please. Ok, Mayra. Mayra, solo una pequeña observación. Mayra, recuerde que es una conversación... Trate de, de decir algo para darle oportunidad a Carla que hable y de ahí continúa usted y así, ¿verdad? Converse, like a conversation, ¿ok? Ok. No se lo tire todo de un solo. <risa> ok. Uh, hello, I want to report a problem with, uh, about my equipment. Ok, what, what is your problem? Uh, the equipment I, that I have a problem is on my projector. 
it is uh, a damage. The okay. problem. Uh, sorry. Okay. Do you complete the the complaint form? Yes, I complete the form. Okay. Uh, is is you is you let me what the what the what the complaint please? Uh, yes, uh, the problems it presents uh, are uh, it doesn't recognize the video input and sometimes restart. Okay, do you have, do, do you do all, uh, all tests with your computer? Yes, I try to connect. Okay, please. Uh, could you could you review the input uh, entry with your cable? Uh, between your computer and your projector, please? Uh, yes, I review the cable, but it's okay. I think okay. that the, um, the equipment is the problem. Okay. Would you, would you do all uh, tests with your equipment i need to uh, i need to pass your your complaint with et uh, et department, department yes, yes. Uh, will you send someone to check the projector it's possible. It's possible. Uh, one week. Oh, too late. But yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, are you agree with with the time? No, but no problem. I am um, wait to the person. Okay. Sorry for 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 the time. But we have other cases in. ¿Cómo se dice? In cola. In Q. In Q. Okay. Okay, I understand. Don't worry. Thank you. Thank you for contact to me. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, excellent, excellent job. Okay. Now, well, se nos, se nos, se nos inspiraron ahí las muchachas. Okay, so we we already finished people uh, just the final attendance and we are done for today Darwin Fátima Rosario, Fidel Coreas, Present. Ian, Present. Irving, Present. Fue, eh, Josué Adán, Juan Ernesto, Karina Beatriz, Carla, María, Present. María Vanessa, Mayra Melanie, Nelson, Present. Alfredo, Nelson Edgardo, Present. Ofelia, Present teacher. Present teacher. Eh, en Okay. Thank you very much for paying attention, people. And yes, Mr. Sanchez, I'm going to send it now. Lo voy a hacer justo ahorita antes de que se me olvide. Okay. Thank you. Permítanme un momento, quiero ver. Ah, Fátima Rosario. Okay, Fátima. Teacher María Estela me nombró. Sí. Okay, thank you. Bueno. Okay, eh, Fátima, are you there? <coughs> Okay. No. Dice una pregunta. Yes. 
el, el un eh, ¿cómo se llama? un folleto que nos ha mandado de Nalo de, 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 de ¿cómo se llama? Un, como de, un de satisfacción, una hoja de satisfacción ah, vaya, Mr. Surbe Está, le recomiendo Perdón. mucho que vea un video que le voy a mandar al, al grupo. Ahí explico eso, pero a detalle, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Para que lo pueda ver. Ahí solo lo va adelantando un poco, porque es bastante complejo, ¿verdad? No terminaría de explicárselo ahorita. Pero el, lo que sí puedo decir, ¿verdad? Es que no lo vaya a realizar antes. Lo va a realizar hasta mañana. Lo vamos a realizar entre las 9 a las 10. Y es muy, muy importante que lo realice en esa hora y siguiendo los lineamientos que le voy a decir. Vale. Sin más que agregar, eh, thank you for your attention, people, and have a nice afternoon. Creo que Fátima no se encuentra, así que el espacio está libre. Si alguien lo quiere tomar, ¿Está? ahí está. Eh, oh, don't yeah. take the opportunity. Well, have a good night. And... Bueno. Mañana compensamos tiempo, va, teacher. Yes. Eh, ah, decirle vea, que mañana vamos a compensar los 40 minutos que me exigían, así que por favor les pido colaboración, ¿verdad? Eh, sé que es un poco pesadito, pero por favor, ayúdenme. ¿A qué hora? Yes, sí. Se comprometió con el café, recuérdelo. <risa> el café, <risa> me ha dicho nada. Oye, ¿y pan dulce? Va, eh, de la pan dulce? A las 10.40 sería, ¿verdad? Así que vamos a estar ahí un ratito más, vea, no va a ser mucho, ni lo van a sentir, vea. Así que, bueno, sin nada más Otra. que... Todo dormido. Se llama. Bye. Bye, Flor. Bye, bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. 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 Ok. I'm alone, I think. No, Fátima. Fátima está ahí. Fátima. Ok, bueno. Este es... The, ok. I already finished the session for today. And this is the private session, ok? So, uh, I have 10 minutes with someone that is supposed to be here but she's not actually here so i'm going to do this by myself again is, some students are not taking the opportunity i don't know why because this is a big help for them it's only 10 minutes and they don't do it so well i'm going to do it alone again uh, but first give me one minute please i need to do something real quick
Okay, I'm back. Uh, it took me like one minute and a half. So let's start. Okay, right now we are going to practice with complaints, okay? So let's talk about complaints. Now, I want you to think about something that you want to complain about. In this case, we are going to vary. We are not going to do it about office equipment and that things. Okay, we are going to do it uh, about other things because we already did it about that in the in the in the session, right? If you want to see that, you can go back. But I don't want to repeat myself. That is repeating myself, and I don't want to be so redundant. So let's talk about something. For example, let's start. For example, in my case, I'm going to talk about a complaint about food. For example, let's say that I went to a restaurant. This restaurant served me some food that I didn't like. And I want to complain with a waiter, right? So um, let me think about what I'm going to say. All right, let's say that, okay, uh, for example, excuse me, sir, uh, can you come here, please? Okay, I'm not going to role play the whole thing, okay? I'm not going to pretend that I am the waiter. I'm just going to pretend to be me complaining about my food, okay? Uh, okay, uh, can you please help me with, with this? I need another, uh, fork because this one is not clean okay can you help me please all right there is another thing i want to complain about is this is this chair i is really weird and it's really uncomfortable and it makes this really really annoying noise can you hear that Yes, can you please, uh, can I change my chair, please? Can you bring me that one over there? But I don't know if they are using them. Please? Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Um, let's complain about other things now. Let's complain about... Sorry, but it is too late. And... Sleep. Okay, for example, let's talk about, um, let's say that I am calling my internet provider, right? In this case, well, I'm not going to mention names, but okay, hello, I'm calling because I have some, some issues to report with my internet connection. Uh, I'm, I'm really upset about the, the service because I've been doing some really important things that require internet connection. And for that reason, that's why. That's why I need to, to a technician to come to my house and check the modem, the wire, the internet, and my telephone line, please. All right, can you do it for Saturday in the morning? I will be, I will be here in my, in my house at that time. All right, thank you very much. I'm going to be waiting for the technician. Bye. Okay, that will be another complaint. Now you try doing a complaint about, I am going to give you certain topics and then pause the video and then complain about those topics, okay? For example, complain about a movie that didn't meet your expectations. Go ahead. Okay, now, Okay, I suppose that you pause the video and you speak and you talk about the whole complaint thing, right? Okay, now complain about, um, okay, a bad 
class session with a facilitator. Not me, of course. I'm just kidding. Okay, complain a bad session with a facilitator. Something that you didn't like and that you want to complain about. Okay, pause the video and do it. Okay, now let's give you another topic. <coughs> I'm sorry. Uh, complain about um, your cell phone. Okay, let's pretend that your cell phone, you bought a new cell phone, but this cell phone comes, sorry, comes with some issues that you didn't anticipate it because let's face it, it's a brand new phone and it's not supposed to do that. Can you please do it? I will hear you out. And the last one. Okay, complain about the weather. Complain about today's weather. Pause the video and do it. Okay, very good. Thank you for being here on today's private session. We were talking about complaints. Now, I guess that right now you can, you know a little bit more about how to complain. There were also some phrases that I present. Okay, I'm not, I don't want to show them right now because they were in the previous session. So you can watch it if you want. I took like, uh, I explained about the pronunciation. Uh, I gave some examples for each and uh, one of them. All right, so go back in the in this video and you can check it for yourself. Thank you for watching. Have a nice, uh, an awesome night. Bye bye.